Now, let me point out one thing that has troubled me a great deal. Last week, opponents of comprehensive immigration reform began to exploit the Boston Marathon bombing. I'm a New Englander. I spent a lot of time in Boston growing up, and so do today. Friends and relatives there. I urge restraint in that regard. Refugees and asylum seekers have enriched the fabric of this country from our founding. In Vermont, we welcome as neighbors Bhutanese, Burmese, Somalis, just as other states have welcomed immigrants to America for refuge and opportunity, whether it's the Hmong in Minnesota, Vietnamese Americans in California, Virginia and Texas, Cuban Americans in Florida and New Jersey, or Iraqis in Utah. Our history is full of these stories of salvation. Let no one be so cruel as to try to use the heinous acts of these two young men last week to derail the dreams and futures of millions of hard-working people. The bill before us would serve to strengthen our national security by allowing us to focus our border security and enforcement efforts against those who do us harm. But a nation as strong as ours can welcome the oppressed and persecuted without making compromise on our security. We are capable of vigilance in our pursuit of these values, and we have seen the tremendous work that the local law enforcement as well as the federal law enforcement have done in the Boston area, and I am so proud of them.